smoke it at. They say they this, they making chips, they cakes legit, don't bow the black account. Really? Okay. Um, I was wondering if I could go through the good person test with you. Yeah, yeah. My name's Walter, so I just let's go through this. This is like the midterm right now. It's like you know, getting on in the semester, so go through this. So it's a small print here. All right. So the million dollar question: Will you go to heaven or hell? Here's a quick test. Have you ever told a lie, stolen anything, or used God's name in vain? Yes. Okay. We'll go a little bit further. Jesus said, whoever looks at a woman to lust for her, or a man, has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Have you looked with lust? I have before. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. And will you be guilty on Judgment Day uh, if you've done these things? I don't know. I, I ask for forgiveness all the time. So, uh, okay. Uh, I'm getting okay. Well, can you tell me what, what is repentance? You can break it down. Like, I, for me. I, honestly, I ask for wisdom and I ask that things will come to me in a better way and I work on my problems. Okay, okay. Now, so the religious people in Jesus' day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so the religious people in Jesus' day, they also thought that they could clean up their acts and, you know, kind of do right and, and uh, everything would be cool. But what Jesus said, um, essentially, is that you know that that nobody comes to the Father except through me. So you need something more than repentance. You need faith and trust in Jesus as your substitute, because His righteousness, His perfect life, was infinitely more valuable to God and infinitely more perfect than anything we could do to clean up our act. True, true. So the Bible teaches about Jesus being a substitute for us, standing in our place, taking our punishment on the cross so that we can have right standing with God. It's been done. All the work's been done. So he just calls you to repent and follow him. Um, turn towards him, you know? And uh, so, you know, I just want to encourage you guys if, uh, if there's any way I can reconnect with you. If you can ignore the warnings on the back of a cigarette box, but don't ignore the warnings in the Bible. Is that cool? Guys, I'm looking for Jesus. Have you seen him? Have you seen him? Anybody? I'm looking for Jesus. He's not in a bar, is he?